Hello there. there. I'm Robert. And I'm Vanessa. And we are late to the party. You know what I can't wait to see? What? Wonder Woman's jet. Oh yeah. Wait a minute. So Warner Brothers and DC have released a new trailer for Wonder Woman. Yeah, and of all the days to do it, Doctor Strange and Marvel's Day just kind of peeked their head in through the door and said, Hey, remember us? Yep, and before we go see that today, we are going to watch this no. Wonder Woman trailer. So let's get to the Wonder Woman trailer. No. I used to want to save the world. I know that picture. Place. But the closer you get, the more you see the great darkness within. I'm gonna miss them, this the hard way uh -oh. a long long time ago uh -oh. what is your mission to stop the war what war the war to end all wars weapons far deadlier than you can ever imagine the war can be ours love them wherever you are you are in more danger than you think i cannot stand by while innocent lives are lost be careful, Diana. Who is this woman? She's my um, secretary, sir. <laughs> She's a very good secretary. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> it is our sacred duty to defend the world. And it's what I'm going to do. Yes. Such a badass. <laughs> Ooh, I love that kick. <laughs> Again, you got you gotta put it in there. <laughs> that was gotta good. be something. Let's see. Principles. Although <laughs> I am not opposed to engaging in a bit of fisticuffs should the occasion arise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Dawn from The Office, the original British Office. She's the Pam Beasley. Oh my god! Yeah, right? I didn't recognize it because she didn't have blonde hair, but yeah, that is her, isn't it? <laughs> so, many, so many good actors in this, too. I mean, uh, what is it? Um, uh, Dave Houston, I believe it is. Stryker. Stryker from uh, Wolverine. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, he's always such a badass. And it's those eyebrows are just so yeah. so sharp. They're angry eyebrows. Uh, I'm so excited for this movie. I know. It looks really, really good. I love when she uses the lasso. Uh, and it's all gold and everything. It's and you, awesome. And it's going to be cool when she finally pulls that out and uses it. I hope it's uh, you know a very cinematic moment when she gets to bring it into play. Um, I do like the part two with the uh, with the the bullet when the bullet's flying and she's looking at the bullet go by, but Chris Pine is still like facing the direction that like it would she be. Can tell what's yeah, happening. she can see it, but he's just still staring off in one direction as it's coming by. And she knows what's about to happen. And I love the backdrop of World War One. I. Um, I know we said this before too. Like usually when they have war movies, it's usually like World War Two. But they're using World War One instead. I mean, World War One is the lesser of well, the two. It's, of course, well, it's just in terms of, you know, pop culture, I guess. That's you know? true. I mean, I, a, I love II. history. I'm a huge, like, history, and I love learning about war, like, World War One. World War Two is my favorite war, but... Small soldiers. <laughs> to learn about. <laughs> Um, but I'm excited that, that they're actually doing World War One. Yeah, yeah. And, and the part two where she's kind of all Clark Kented up in her, you know, overcoat and 
you know, her arm extends and you see the, the, bracelets, see the bracelets there, there. being yeah. able to stop the bullets. And when she's wearing the dress, just strolling through the party and she's got the sword in the back. Yeah. Still in the, it's in its sheave. I mean, it's, it's awesome. This basically the visuals in this trailer is what I'm really excited for to see in this movie because they've done some yeah. pretty awesome visuals just in the trailers that I can't wait to see them in their full grand cinematic, you know, spectacle that is going to be Wonder Woman as well. And with Jeff Johns kind of taking over, I do kind of hope there is that synergy balance. I know we just lost a director for Flash, but I feel like, you know, Patty Jenkins is already bringing, you could tell she's bringing something great. And this trailer really didn't show us a whole lot still. We don't know really who they're going up against. No, it just kind of showed us, like, visuals. a little bit. Yeah, visuals. Yeah. You're right. It's just visuals and be like, hey, there's a new Wonder Woman coming out, but it's showing, like, a wonder. Like, it's awesome. What she can do and versus here's Doomsday. You know, in a trailer that just kind of oh, ruins yeah, it for you. Yeah, I hope you. they don't do that in the next trailer. <laughs> yeah, but we are excited to find out what Patty Jenkins and the crew has in store for us when Wonder Woman comes out next, next year. year. Thank you so much for watching our reaction to the new Wonder Woman trailer. Yeah, we we're really excited to see what they have in store for the next step in the DC Cinematic Universe. But until then, you can like us, subscribe. Do the thing on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram. Yeah, all the social networking gin joints, you guys know where they are. And for those that don't know where they are, go ahead into the About section of our channel and you'll be able to find them there. And I'm speaking to all you that joined us from the Negan Kills video. Oh, uh, it was heartbreaking. We we had to seek a little bit of counseling. Though. Good episode. <laughs> Sad episode, but good. And we appreciate everybody who watched that video, everybody who subscribed to us after that. Um, we do appreciate it. There is more heartbreak to come, and we will be there to watch it and convey it to you guys as well. So thank you, and now it's time to say goodbye. Bye. Bye. I think World War II was my favorite war. <laughs>